Alright, welcome everybody, welcome back to the Malfar Project, and uh, let's get started on this. So, um, today we're going to be working on the, um, on the midsection, so we're going to fill up all the parts that are now one color, and then from one color we're going to go to the second one, then the second one, and then third, fourth, fifth. Until you know all the colors are completed, so we're gonna be doing that today. Um, I'll let me just do a little check for my own. Until knowledge. you know all the colors. Ah, that's good. That's good. All right, let's get started. So uh, let's see. We actually want to have this color. Jesus. Um, we want to actually have the color that is already representing him. So we're gonna be doing that first. We need to have this beautiful color right here, which is the color that we had before. That's right here. Thank you very much. Needed that. I switched in the colors because I had a, I had a little thing to. I wanted to draw something a little. So yeah. And now we're going to be continuing where we left off. So this is the first layer of colors that we're going to be doing. This is the first of five, if I'm correct. So I'm hoping that that will fix everything. Hmm. It's the same color, right? Yes, it is. All right, good. I was just curious. So yeah, today we're gonna be working on this, and then tomorrow we will be uh, doing. Uh, and then we're gonna be working on the second color, and hopefully all the colors will work just as nice as this does. Though it is a little bit confusing this time because you know it's a different color than you know everybody else is used to. It's funny how actually a little bit of darkening in the you know drawing can actually lead to this. Because if I'm correct, if we're zooming out, it should be the same color, right? It's the same color. Oh my god, what a surprise. If we fill it up like this, hold on. We can then see if it is truly the same color. And yes, it is. So, yes. It's the same color. It's the same color as everything else here, so. I'm quite, you know, not surprised it did happen, but I'm a little bit surprised how the color is actually going. It's like. Is beige in most cases. I think it has to do with the color scheme that's already here, which causes me to be like, you know, questioning my own color. Because, you know, it looks different when you zo when you zoom in. You're not expecting that, you know, color to have like this kind of approach. Anyway, let's continue. So yeah, today we're going to be working on this color, and then tomorrow we will be filling up the rest of the uh, colors that have been left behind. And then we need to actually make a pattern, so that's also a thing that we need to do. So, pattern today. Oh, shit, I forgot something. Hold one sec. This is done quickly, so don't mind. Da da da. And then go over here. No. Where is it? Where is it? Ah, there it is. There it is. Boom shakalaka. Easy. So yeah, I fixed it, and 
and we should now be done for that. And we can now fit back. Hey Blue, nice to see you. So yeah, today we're going to be working on one color, and then tomorrow we're going to be working on a second, and 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 going going that way. So yeah, we're going to be working on this base color is not the problem. I think the uh uh the way how I'm going to need to represent you know the rest of the colors is going to be the ma major thing that's going to be really difficult for me to pull off. So I see that I made some mistakes. So after this, I'm going to be doing some cleaning as well. Looks like I did some. I made some mistakes in the colorization. Oh well, it happens. Oh hey Space Junk, nice to see you as well. So yeah, I've been working on today, you know, today is going to be like the Morpho project and then tomorrow I will not do it because, you know, I'm busy celebrating, I think, from 3 o'clock, so I think I will be doing some maybe late streams. Maybe I'm gonna be doing a late stream. Don't know if I'm gonna do the late stream. Possibly gonna do the late stream. Depends, situational, you know. All that stuff. So yeah. Hello. How are you all doing? I'm doing great. But yeah. I'm probably gonna be doing some late stream uh, late game streaming, but eh it depends. Depends on the situational it is. So yeah. Tomorrow, yes, tomorrow I will do a streaming because you know that it's Friday, but it's also like New Year's. It's New Year, so I think I will do some game stream just because you know I feel like it. Also, it's really ha it's always nice to you know celebrate, celebrate a new year with a game, you know. So what are we gonna be doing then? Hmm. I think I know exactly what I'm going to be doing. Scary Larry ter uh, scary Larry scary Larry hunting 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 mansion. I don't know. Something like that. Probably something like that. We're going to be probably doing a uh, a video game which, you know, involves getting hunted and you have no way to fight back. Well, you have ways to fight back, but you know, it's it's gonna be difficult. Probably that kind of game I'm gonna be doing, or I'm gonna be doing some fun little games where you know I'm gonna play some game. Any anyway, I'm gonna be playing a game. I just need to figure out which one. Just need to figure out which one I want to play on that day. Because you know a celebration is good, but you know you're not supposed to celebrate by drawing. What's wrong with you? You're supposed to celebrate by doing stuff, like drawing. Yes, I contradicted myself there. Do whatever you please to do. If you want to celebrate by drawing, be my guest. I will be happy for you, because it's really cool to do to do drawings at at your own, at uh, at New Year. But I'm not that kind of person. I'm like more like, oh my God, I want to play a game. Why? Because it's an awesome day. And drawing is like, drawing is more like when days are a little bit up and down, and not like really like early or late, whatever. Uh, it's hard to uh, tell how to say this. Ooh. I feel like celebrating, I would rather do gaming. But hey, that's me. If I want to celebrate, I will do rather do a video game. And drawing. I could do a drawing, but you know that's like I then I have no clue like what should I draw? And then I'm like, hmm. And then it's probably gonna be ending up with doodling, so that means that I'm gonna be having like a new Larry. And uh nobody likes Larry. Nobody likes Larry. Nope. Nobody. I despise him. 
even if he's pink, then I even despise him. But yeah. So, I'm probably gonna play some. I'm probably gonna be playing uh, a game that I never supposed to play, like a game that I normally don't play that much. But it's gonna be more like a probably horror. I don't know. I'm not good with horror, but you know those kind of games. A game that I normally don't touch because I'm way too scared for it. I'm like this very scary, this scary mouse that just gets spooked. If you just watch, oh well, look at it, like, oh my god, it looked at me, ah, don't hurt me, I'm innocent. So yeah, that's me. Oh hey Mark. So yeah, that's the thing that I'm going to be doing. Probably going to play some game, probably going to be a scary game, probably. It's either that or it's gonna be Big Boy Steve Day. National Big Boy Steve Day. The day after the day after New Year. Does anybody know what kind of the Chinese uh, new calendar is? Like what what is gonna be celebrating? Is it gonna be pig? Uh, is it gonna, what what comes after pig? Let's put me that way. I know we have rooster. I know we have snake, monkey. So. If somebody could tell me what kind of uh, what kind of symbolic animal it's gonna be this year, oh well, upcoming year, I would be lovely to hear that because then I know. Ever since I've been pay paying taxes, I'm no longer spooked as much. <laughs> oh man, yeah, pay paying tax paying taxes, you know, it spooks people sometimes, but it also says like, oh, I'm not even surprised, you know, that kind of thing, because you know taxes. Yeah. <sighs> so, yeah, taxes are a dick sometimes. Well, it's funny when you just got caught because you know you drove to you drove you drove too hard on the highway. That's a thing that can happen. Never happened to me because I never drew. I never drive. If I would have been driving, I would have been in the back seat, telling someone to drive. So yeah. Ooh, it's gonna be ox. Hmm. Yes. 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 Awesome. Awesome. The year of the ox. So technically I should find a cow simulator game, you know. <laughs> what are you doing today? I'm gonna milk some cows. And produce a lot of milk. And I produce more milk. Because of all the cows. Cow milk is very cowy. I knew it. Looks like, you know, the blending is not fully completed, so I need to do it actually three times over. So one, and I need to do it again, this, and then again, let's fix it, nice. So yeah, 
What a lovely day to start, you know. Tomorrow it's gonna be New Year's Eve, and then the day after that it's gonna be New Year. I think. Yes, New Year. So yes, at New Year, I'm gonna be doing some stuff. So, um, what do I want to, what do I want to finish in this year? What, what, what are my predicaments? What are my future telling things that I'm gonna be probably doing not so what I'm gonna be doing so one of these things that I'm gonna be focusing on this year or well upcoming year is actually getting better at drawing which I am digital drawing better at coloring at least so you know shading coloring lighting you know th those things what I also want to be doing is, you know, animations. So I'm going to be probably working on my animation, my intro. So that's what, one thing that I want to be finished next year. So I want that to be finished next year as well. Oh uh, boy. You sack of shit. You did it again. Oh no. Why? Why in God's name did you have that button right there? You poor fool. Alright, so yeah, that's the thing that I'm gonna be doing. So I want to have my animation to be done. I want to have my Martha project to be done next year. I wanna have. Uh, I wanna be able to come over to France. That would be lovely able to visit friends anymore uh, again want this stupid lockdown to be gone that's the thing so yeah those are my those are my things that I wanna be keeping myself on next year like those are the things I wanna be focusing on my inner inner focusing my spirit visit friends yeah probably Visit friends. No, 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 not visit friends. Not like Bouguette and Croissant. No, I mean friends. Uh, friends. Friends. Not friends. Friends. With a D. With a DS. Friends. Ugh. I'm not speaking about French. This is French, and then you have friends. <laughs> I'm not talking about baguettes. Not today, at least. Not talking about baguettes. No. We shall not have them. Not in the not in the name of Paris. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So yeah. Anyway, so that's the thing that I want to do. And then tomorrow I will be able so tomorrow I will be able to find a game that I want to play for that day afterwards. So I'm gonna be doing. <laughs> yes, yes, Mark. Yes, I am a totally a French sleeper agent. Definitely, no doubts about it. Not only my French is like the most garbo French I ever heard, and I have never learned French in my school, so it's one of those things that I actually skipped. It was like, no, I don't want this. I don't want this heresy in my bloody damn language vocabulary. I rather want to pick up German than that. So yeah, I picked up German and English instead of French, because... Who wants to speak French? Not me, at least. The only place where I can speak it then is in Belgium and France. French. Uh, in Fra France. So, yeah. It was like not a easy picking, but yeah. I rather wanted to use it on the places where I, I visit more times. Like Germany, uh, Ireland. I mean, I visit Ireland. So, my my uncle lives there, so, yeah.
my uncle actually uh, married an Irish woman, so yeah, that's uh, that's how I visit Ireland. So. Actually, the uh, actually the uh, the I remember back in the day when the airfields were actually just you know you had to go there by you know stab of the uh, stab of the airplane because you know they did not have these gates yet. It was actually quite funny that it was an airport that and didn't have those luxury. So yeah. I had a chance to learn French, but they offered me a chance that I wa that I was uh, when I was ten. So I gave up pretty fast. <laughs> Sounds like an excuse. A French epo. <laughs> <laughs> it is this <laughs> this dedicated his streaming. It's just is his co is his cover. Yeah, definitely. Definitely, this is my cover. This is definitely my cover. It's like holy hell. Ah uh, man, this is fun. This is so much joy. I mean, obviously, I'm just working, you know. But this is fun, you know. Streaming, coloring, doing art, showing you guys what I do, how I do it, what how other people do it is like, you know, also important. And I do like it, you know, just seeing other people's art, how they do it, or what they, how they, how they draw. And you know, everybody has his own art style, and I'm not very good at other people's mimicking other people's art style. It's really not my strong suit. So you know, I rather develop my own, and you know, learn from that. I learn from my own mistakes. I learn from my, oh, you know, judgy fla flavor. I do. I do want to be perfecting in it, you know, creating texture and all that stuff. And I'm getting better at it. Don't get me wrong here. I'm getting better at, you know, drawing. I'm getting better at uh making stuff. It's just, you know, my art style is a little bit limited in certain ways. Therefore, you know, if I want to do this optimal, I need to learn how to get it to optimal. And I'm getting there. Don't get me wrong. It's it's not fully realistic, don't get me wrong here, this art style is not fully realistic, it's it's almost samey. It's like, it's in between. Because it feels like, you know, just how you drew something, and then it's like hand-drawn. Well, it technically it is, but that's all my art, that, that's my art style. It's like, I like to have my... Uh, outlines which are representing uh, these things have the outlines they have the big outlines but because it is all in pencil format it actually <sighs> le le m'appelle spesjunk to appelle se commande si ka via votre foot dessin estres bien I have no idea what I was voting for, but I think uh, I think I vote for the right guy there. L listen, listen to that man. That's that's how my that's how my French speaks. It's like oh. anyway, continuing on what I was mumbling about. So because my art style is not that, uh, because my art style is like really limited on certain parts, it's also not limited on other parts. The um idea of you know using texture to represent certain features like you know feathers uh, skin um, feathers skin um, looks feels you know that that's that's how my art style works like I need to look at the texture of a wood structure for instance and then I can draw wood but that wood will always represent by that by that structure, regardless of how it looks. So I need to remind myself, like, if I want to draw wood, I need to make sure that I do it well, and I need to, you know, keep keep things the way they are, like, uh, like with the church, yeah, with the church project. So 
Because I need to find a way to represent uh, represent stone, I found a way to create textures. So I made I made the mold, I made the shape of rock, and then I put you know the texture on it. And there and therefore you know it looks and represents the rock texture instead of you know something else. It does not represent wood. It does not represent gold. It does not represent grass. It represents rock. And because it represents rock, it's defined that it is rock. And if, as long as I keep up with that texture and use the same way, use and draw the rocks the same way, so use, draw the texture of the rock the same way, the mind of the person that's going to be watching it is like, hey, this is rock. Cool. That looks really cool. That looks really detailed. And then I will say yes. Because I used the same same texture all over again. The problem with the texture is that I most likely look for that sounded Russian to me, my dude. <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. Nikolai always or uh, Nikolai is never suspected of these kind of uh, accusations. <laughs> anyway, uh, so. What I was been think what I was been thinking about was actually, you know, if I look at the past accomplishments I did. Oh hey, Gemini Tsunami. You have been a, a minute on how are you, you have been a minute. Uh, how are you doing? I'm doing great. I'm doing fabulous, thick, great. I'm trying to talk about you know about how. What what my art style is about? It's like you know, it's semi realistic. It is not fully realistic. If I would have fully realistic, I would have done more. I'm trying to get there. You know, it takes time, but it's not fully. I will always remember that it will never be fully because it's really hard to do a fully realistic point uh, drawing. But I'm getting there. You know, if I get the if I get the shading and the lighting right, I think I will get a very, very, cl I will get very, very close to a realistic uh, drawing already. Because the artwork already looks very realistic when, you know, when with a basic way of shading, basic way of drawing. So if I get the shading right and the lighting right, I am almost there. The only thing that I none need to learn is how to, you know, draw certain things like, you know, hands and feet and hats. So yeah, probably, probably, I'm gonna be practicing on those too. So yeah, I'm gonna be doing some practicing once this fin once this project is finished, which it's gonna be next year, but. I'm hoping that you know once I'm since I'm doing this and I'm hoping that you know eventually you know I will get better at this by you know practicing because everybody know everybody know this I think everybody will know it practice makes perfect and the more you practice or the more you draw the better you get I will tell you that I have been doing this like from my tenth, uh, from my tenth birthday. Like so, it's like from ten till now. So, that's almost one. That's almost like twenty. That's twenty. Twenty years? No, 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 no. It's twenty-two. It's twenty-one, right? Twenty-one. So. Not 20 years yet. Uh, eh, close to it. 80. No, no, 17 years. I think, yeah. 17, 17, se 17 years already. So I have been draw. I have been drawing not 17 years. Hold on. 15, 15 years. There you go. 15 years. I think. Close to it, at least. I have been drawing like 15 years already. And from where I started, so... Where I started was actually not this way. I already had a distinct R cell, yes, that's correct, but it was not that detailed. I missed detail. I missed a lot of things that have 
that have been you know missing while looking at it for instance uh, one of the things that I've been missing with it was actually the texturing as a child you don't know how things look and feel and see if you if you want to draw them because you know I always made mistakes when I was a kid I mis made mistakes by proportions I made mistake I made mistakes with the texturing I made mistakes by not texturing at all and just drawing like you know the doodling that I did be uh, the doodling like uh, let's see where it's got so if I want to pick up a doodle that is almost there ooh, where is it where the hell is a doodling that I know that is like that probably here come on no pictures here you go there you go so the doodling right here this was actually my start of my uh, of my doodling part so this bomb is actually the start of where I started with most of the things that I drew were with the bomb and then you know it ended up with getting more realistic therefore it goes to this part I'll show you just a quick sec so I went more to you know a more realistic point of view although this thing looks horrible yes that's true this is why it's a test the test there it is so yeah I went from I went from terrible to you know a little bit better to getting better and then eventually you know fixing everything that I did of course you know most of it was actually done on the uh, on the pencil part and not on the digital part so I had a lot of trouble with it I um, I had a lot of trouble with you know adapting towards it it's now like almost I started this year with you know learning how to do this so I started this year to do this and now this is how far I got so I finally implemented my art style into my uh, into the digital uh, into the digital drawing only it took me like a whole damn boat project to do so it took me like almost a whole that it took me a whole damn project of almost 60 hours or more to get my art my art style into this tablet well not in this tablet but more uh, into the programs and the uh, digital part of it so not on a tablet it's it's not a tablet's fault of course not but it's more like I need to adapt upon you know not having to scrape not having to remove stuff not having to you know sharpen the pencil and all that stuff and sometimes it feels a little bit odd you know pencil the the pencil I always use was actually the ones that I always have been used on school so it's the H, uh, it's the HB uh, pencil it's the most variety version therefore you know you don't have to deal with so you can do soft and hard stuff with it which is really nice because therefore you can do shading really quickly you can do shading by you know just pressing less and more on your pencil which is really nice and really handy dandy for my part so yeah um, I learned a lot in these years I learned a lot this year you know seeing other people draw seeing other people do how they do it what uh, what their ways are and how they you know how they improve and I really like it you know it gives me hope that I will also be the one that's gonna be improving although you know it's really hard to do improvement because you know you need to be very judgy of yourself and knowing that where to, and knowing where you where you did wrong this is why I always look back on my drawing not not like looking back but more like you know zooming out seeing like oh I did this part wrong I did this part wrong this is wrong alright cool how do I fix this well I need to start over with this 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 
then first I will work out my first thing that I did before and then I will move on to the next part. Uh, it's the uh, idea of you know I will fix I will fix it, but I only will fix it once I'm finished with my own with my first task I did, because you know what I learned is like if there is something that is wrong, you could either you know avert it or fix it. The best way to do it just fix it immediately because it will stick for you, it will budge you, it will be like Hey, did you know that you did this wrong? Oh my god, did you know that? <sighs> no way, you're gonna be ignoring me? Oh my god. So yeah, your 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 mind is gonna be talking you down if you don't fix it. Well, at least my mind isn't. My mind is like a pure dickhead, like, haha, you didn't fix your own damn problem. Well, you know, I'm trying to do my very best to, you know, stay positive all the time, but hey. It's a very judgy thing that my mind does. Like I am a very perfection, uh, I'm a very perfectionist, and I will stop until the jo uh, until I will not stop until the job is done, and I try my very best to do so. Of course, that's gonna be leading me to having problems with timing. Yes, timing is a problem. So how do you fix over overworking with timing? You know that that's the thing that I came across like I can work like three hours a day but then I will be totally tired the same goes for like you know working uh, doing a live stream if I would do a live stream I rather want to do it like a one hour stream instead of you know four or three hours because if I do such a thing I might get over exhausted and if I get over exhausted it means that I will be talking slower and I won't be able, you know, to share you, uh, won't be able for you guys to share what I, what I have been saying. Because, you know, I'm tired. And it's like, oh no, I'm tired. I don't know what to do now. So yeah, it's gonna be like a different tone, a different voice. And that's like, eh, that's not what I wanted. I want him to be just, you know me. Just a regular old fashioned me. So yeah, uh, by fixing the problem that I had, so, like, you know, with just, you know, limiting me to an hour. I wish I would, I, I could do three, two hours of drawing, but it's just really hard. I need to, you know, focus, and my focus will be gone in an hour. Because my head is, says no. And, you know, my head is a really pain in the ass. Because, you know, it is a... Uh, it's a nasty little thing that uh, it's a nasty little contraption that uh, I have to deal with daily. It's like, ah, you're gonna feeling you're gonna be feeling very down today because you're ha you don't have any energy. Goodbye. Don't forget to feed me. Goodbye. So yeah, that's that's the mind. That's like that's my mind. It's like a really pain in the ass to deal with because you know you want to be you want to be like a very very energetic person but sometimes you know you get over you have like tension moments or moments that you cannot comprehend and then you need to do hard thinking and then you get exhausted because of it because your brain cannot handle a lot of uh, over overflowing information it's not like you know you're not smart to understand the information that has been throwing at you no i understand every single fucking bit of it it just, you know, my mind is not, or oh well, doesn't want to, at least, doesn't want to uh, do it. Like, my mind shuts down because it, it doesn't want to have all the information drawn on me. But if I do it bit by bit, you know, it is less problematic because, you know, I will not be overflowing with information. Therefore, my mind will thinking like, oh, you're just doing regular old business. I see. Nothing to see here. Goodbye. So yeah, my mind is then like, ugh, it's just regular business, no need to shut down. So yeah, I'm trying to do my very best, you know, to get everything done. And sometimes you are uh, probably you notice like my mind shutting down as well while drawing, but that's because you know this requires a lot of inten intense. Uh, this requires a lot of uh, intention from my part, so it requires for me to put a lot of energy in it. 
and that makes and that makes this drawing like really hard to do because you know I need to be I need to be talking I need to be thinking I need to be doing things and you know I'm not a very multitasking person when things come when things come to shove yeah easy So I hope you'll I hope you like uh, I hope this was informative for you guys to understand like what my scenario is how I draw how I draw how I draw and what my scenario is with drawing like you know I hope this also understands like why I'm only doing one hour streams and why not more <laughs> at least oh hey Becca talking and doing things oof I feel uh, I feel you. Really, by the way. Hey, Becca. Nice to see you. It's getting crowded. Oh my. It's getting so crowded. I'm trying to do my very best. Also, you know, when I when I want to do, you know, this small fork project, I normally, you know, don't do anything else for a day. So I won't be doing any heavy activities, unless, you know, I want to do the writing part, but then I need to make sure that, you know, I only do one hour of writing, and then, one, and then you know, do that in the early days, like 10 o'clock or something, so that I won't be able to uh, get myself overexhausted, because, you know, the, the project goes first. Everything goes before the project, so... You know, little timings, little times I have, like, nothing on my mind. I will just do the drawing parts, like, you know, the intro, the outro, the animations, whatever. I already have a lot of stuff of it, but it just, you know, it's a little bit of a slow progress because, you know, I'm stuck with this problem. If I do too much, because I don't know myself too many times, because I get overexcited, like... Oh my god, I need to finish this. And then, you know, I overthrew myself. It's like, ha, huh, you put yourself under the bus. Congratulations. Yeah, that's... And then, you know, you have, like, very silent or very tired... Um, very tired conversations, which is, like... It's not really helpful when, you know, you do your streaming, if you're tired. Also, it doesn't help with, you know, progress. So uh, how is everybody? How is everybody doing for today? I think I talked a lot. Uh, 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 yeah, how is everybody doing today? <laughs> I'm just wondering, curious, curious to the bone. Nice, nice. So then, there you go. Good, good is good to see that everybody is doing great then, because you now. It's almost almost forty minutes in, and dang, I'm, we are actually getting far this time. Ah, because you know, it's just coloring. Coloring is always faster than you know drawing most of the times. No motivation to do drawing any anything on my end. Ah, uh, that's a shame, space junk. A slow day trying to ride <laughs> made soup with a great gray ghost pumping to a dough. Oh, that was nice. Mm. Lovely. Soup is always great. Especially pumpkin soup is actually quite nice to uh, have. I don't know if people do do this, but I I knew a person that actually put tomato uh, uh, made tomato so uh, tomato soup and then actually put rice in it. So 
that was also like, ooh, that's actually quite good. I didn't know. And you had this rice soup. Something like noodles, but then better. Oh yeah, indeed. Pumpkin. Mm, pumpkins are great. So yeah, um, yeah, blah, 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 blah. um. So let's take a look at it already because I I want to see. Uh, I want to see. You guys want to see? Look at that! Boom, baby! Boom! Smart! Awesome! And I had and I had my doubts that this was not the right color. What an idiot I was! Oh my god! So yeah, it's the same color as before. I put rice in the soup, as it's taken up before. Uh, usually with carrot soup, though. Ooh, nice. Carrot soup. Mmm. Vegetable soup with chicken. Oh, that's so good. Anyway, as you can see, I doubted myself, you know, that I did not use the right color, and then I realized that it was the right color. What a fool. Yep, I'm a total fool. So, yeah. As you can see, um, once this color is done, I will then uh, get the next color in line. Uh, which one is that? It's probably the dark color, right? Or light. Um, allow me to just cheat a little bit looking at the colors. Colors! Which one is it? So which color did you use afterwards? Tell me. Tell me, Marta. Tell me. Uh, let's see. It's... Oh, it's the light one. It's this guy. This guy here. This one is the next color in line that we're going to be using them afterwards. Nice. Nice, nice. See, this is why it's so handy dandy to have these things. Like that, you know, look, boom. And you know exactly what you need, so... Because I did this all in systematical order, you know, I know exactly which color we need to have. But, first, we're gonna be working on this color. So, first things first, we're gonna be working... Oh... First things first, we're gonna be working on this. Which is not, which is not this, but it is this instead. So yeah, uh, mm -mm. now ah, ugh, I am getting confused here by my own stuff. So yeah, there you go. The main idea of this is just you know to just casually get everything colored in. And then eventually, you know, because this is what I do. This is like the first coloring that happens with this brush. It's not good. So yeah, I need to do a, I need to do a lot to fix this. And you know, normally, you should be coloring with this instead. Um, well, let me just pick it up. Some people use this instead for coloring, like bush. Or, no, 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 wait, this one. This one does not have transparency. Haboosh! There you go. Like that, boom. It's instantly done. It's instantly done, like that. It's instantly done. But I don't like it. I don't like it at all. I don't like it at all. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like that brush one bit. I don't know what it is. I am more used to, you know, coloring everything precisely. Making sure that, you know, I'm not leaving any gaps behind. Just the feeling of this brush feels better to me. Towards me. So yeah, you could use the other brush to fill in instantly the colors that you want. Or you can do just do like me, just casually color it in. 
and then realize like, oh my, this this looks nice. This is getting somewhere, you know. Instead of, boom, instant result, instant speed, yeah. Nah, that's not me. It never is me. I don't want to have things to go. I want to have the things to go slow and steady. As the turtle always says, I will win the race regardless of what you just did, because I am the fastest there is. And the rabbit got distracted, so but you know, the rabbit lost, or he won, or he lost a bet, and therefore he had to lose to the turtle. One way or another, the turtle wins. So yeah, just take it slowly and steadily, and eventually you will win the race. Come on, Rocco, you can do it. I believe in you. <laughs> oh, that episode is great from SpongeBob. That is one of the fame. That's one of my favorite episodes. Just Patrick talking to a talking to a rock, saying that he can do that he can do it, and actually wins. That's like, I'm quite amazed. So yeah, um, it's almost an hour in. I think I can make it this time. Right? How many times? Have, ooh, no, I cannot make it. But I will get down a little bit. A little bit on time. Generally, 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 yeah. So, yeah. The funny thing is actually, you know, uh, one of the things that I really liked about that, uh, really liked about that series of SpongeBob, you know, not the new ones, but the old episodes, was actually that they had really good humor in it. I don't know, it was a little bit silly, but <laughs> I laughed, so yeah, I liked it. I like to have this silly humor that you know is quite funny to to watch. Snapping turtles are mean. Yep. Yep, that's why they're called snapping turtles. They're not called snapping turtles for nothing. You know, they snap this they snap this they snap fish in half. That's how they have like as strong of a bite almost as strong as a bite ah. They have as they have as strong as a bite force as a alligator. So yeah, you should definitely not put your hand into one of those mouths. It will go choppy. It will. You will lose a finger or two, or a hand or two. Depends on uh, what you're gonna put put into it. So yeah, they're really sharp. Also, they're really really hard to open. The jawline of the snapping turtle is actually designed to snap. So yeah, the muscles, all of it works in synergizing way. To just, you know, rip a fish in half and then swallow it whole. Or, well, the bits whole, of course. Also, the funny thing about snapping turtles is actually that they are most, uh, most like an hour underwater. Just, you know, sitting motionless, waiting for the fish to come into their mouth. Because they have this, they have actually, on their tongue, they have this little bait that looks like a worm. And, you know, acts like a worm and fish are like, ooh. Is that a worm? Don't mind if I do. And then snap! Their necks go. Their necks go boom. So yeah. But all the turtles have mean, st <laughs> mean streaks. Most of them just don't have <laughs> have the gear. Yeah. But a snapping turtle does have the mean. And he has the mean gear. Oh yeah, he has the gear. He is really good. Well, I was saying that it was an alligator snapping turtle. Normally, you know, alligator snapping turtles are really scary. I don't know if there are more snapping turtles than only an alligator snapping turtle, but the idea of, you know, a snapping turtle, I always think about the alligator snapping turtle instead of, you know, anything else. That distinct, you know, jawline, all those things. Holy hell, that's spooky. They have, like, this huge mouth. Like a parrot mouth, which, you know, 
technically, you know, snapping turtles are very efficient in hunting their prey. They almost never miss. I think it is 80% or something that they catch their prey. So, yeah, alligator snapping turtles are really efficient at predators. And they eat a lot of fish. Ah, I see. Also, um, does, there, does anybody know what a catfish is? Allow me to just say the word catfish. It's a fish, alright? The catfish? Is everybody... N it? I will tell you something very funny about the catfish, actually. So, um, if I'm correct, I don't know if it was Venice or France, but one of them is it all right so one of the, one of the regions is it, it, it is but in one of those regions actually uh oh no it is, yes it is paris then i guess because there is a lot of pigeons in paris yeah it is paris yeah good um so the the whole thing with the uh yeah the the, the fish actually hunt pigeons in those regions the catfish actually hunt pigeons because pigeons are really retarded. They're like, ooh, what is that in the water? And then, you know, they come closer and closer for curiosity, and then instantly, -ba 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 -ba, the fish comes out of the water and eats it. Ta da! Catfish. Catfish are awesome. They're really smart. They're really smart fish for their size. And they can be big. They can u grow huge. I think three meters or something. Three, four, five. No, 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 three. Maximum of three, I think. But they can grow. Oh, those meaty boys. My dad <laughs> hated taking my um, my fishing because uh, because I always managed to catch a snapping turtle somehow, and he had to <laughs> get them off the hook. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. I love tortoises. My mom, uh, vo uh, vo uh, my mom, my mom's voice coming running when she hears <laughs> when it is sunny. Nice. Pictures are, defin are the definition of dumb. <laughs> what did you expect? Uh, have uh, Have you ever seen two Galapagos turtles fight over a female? That's terrifying. <laughs> They weren't so weak and slow. I ha I had to I had to chase one of them out of the cafe for more than once before. Oh, pigeons chasing pigeons out of the cafe. Those sneaky little rats. Those are really annoying. The problem with pigeons is actually that they shit all over the place. They're even worse than rats, and they can carry even diseases. So yeah. Pigeons are not the best animals. They are like flying rats. But in pigeon form. Yeah, Galapagos. 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 Turtles are actually one of the most magnificent creatures there are. Because they are so huge. They are big slow grazing animals that don't want to bother anybody they're just like I just wanna get laid man and then you know go on that day finding a mate and then get laid and then finally be like ah oh, is this the life you know that that kind of stuff so yeah But yeah, the there's six drive is actually quite huge. <laughs> nah, flying rats are seagulls. The problem with pigeons is they know you won't hurt. <laughs> I probably had a zoo when I was younger. 
I look really funny when trying to scare them <laughs> with more carrots. I think they were very intimidating. <laughs> you know they can hurt. <laughs> they can hurt you. <laughs> they knock me out. Stealing my lunch once. Oh no, those things could steal your lunch. Yeah, I forgot about seagulls. Ugh. Anyway, um, I think that's it for today. I hope you all enjoyed for today, and uh, thanks for watching. And I'll see you all next time. Until then, have a nice day. Bye.